Hi, this is Blake with NetworkingExamAcademy.com, and today we're going to learn how to set up RIP on three different routers and so that we can ping between all three of them. So, let's get started. Alright, this is the router one. On, we have three different routers, so we have router one, router two, router three, and this is the, um, the topology we're going to use. So we have um, one router here, we have router 2 and router 3, and these are the IP addresses for each of their interfaces. And so let's go ahead and start configuring router 1. So do that, type in enable, and then go to config T. And then we can type in interface E0, and assign it an IP address of 10.10.1.2, with a subnet mask at 255.255.255.0. Okay, now we're going to turn the interface on with the no shutdown command. And for now, let's go ahead and get out. There we go. Now let's configure router 2. And to do that, we do the exact same steps. The router 2 has two interfaces. So first, um, you know what I forgot to do? Let's change the host name to router 2. See how it changes right here. And then we can go back up to router one and change the host name there too. A T host name router one. All right. Okay, back to router two. Now let's configure interface E zero and assign it an IP address of 10.10.1.1 .10 and the subnet mask of 255.255.0. Okay. Now let's turn the interface on with the no shut down command. Now it's going to, let's configure interface E1. If we look back at our topology here, E1 is going to have an IP address of 10.10.2.1. Okay, so let's go IP address 10.10.2.1, subnet mask, and turn it on with no shutdown command. There we go. Exit. Exit. Now let's configure router 3. And go to enable. And then config T. And then hostname router 3. Now let's go to interface E0, go to IP address 10.10.2.2, subnet mask, and you can turn it on with the no shutdown command. Okay, exit, exit. Now we can go look at router 1, and let's try and ping router 2. So ping 10.10.1.1. And it should work. Yep, success rate is 100%. Now let's try and ping router 3. So we go ping 10.10.2.2. And this should not work. That's correct. So these dots mean none of the pings worked and success rate is 0%. Okay. Why didn't this work? If we look at our routing table, show IP route, it should show that we only have this directly connected route, 10.10.1.0, and we have no entry for 10.10.2.0. So to fix that, um, we can set up RIP on each of the routers. So let's go to config T, let's go to router RIP, let's get enable RIP, and it's going to put us in configuration mode for RIP and now we can assign a network so network 10.10.1.0 so that's basically what happened network 10.10.1.0 okay and now we're also going to say network 10.10.2.0 okay and we're going to do the same thing on the other two routers. So let's go to router 2. We've got um, config T. Um, 
router rip network 10.10.1.0 network 10.10.2.0 and now we go to router 3 go to config t click on um, type in router rip network 10.10.1.2.0 and network 10.10.1.0 exit exit so now let's go back up to router 1 here there we go let's go back down here up here now let's go show IP route and we should see a new entry in here we do we have the R here means rip if we look up here at the definitions we have C is connected, S is static, and R up here for RIP. Okay. So now we should be able to ping. Scroll right here. Okay. Now we should be able to ping router 3. So ping 10.10.2.2. And if you scroll down, there we have. There's a successful ping and 100%. So now because we set up RIP, all the routers can talk to each other, and we are able to ping router 3 all the way from router 1. Thanks for watching.